Order of Canada from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The Order of Canada, or French Ordre du Canada, is a Canadian national order, admission into which is within the system of orders, decorations, and medals of Canada, the second highest honour for merit. It comes second only to membership in the Order of Merit, which is within the personal gift of Canada's monarch. To coincide with the centennial of Canadian Confederation, the three-tiered order was established in 1967 as a fellowship that recognizes achievement of outstanding merit or distinguished service by Canadians who made a major difference to Canada through lifelong contributions in every field of endeavor, as well as the efforts made by non-Canadians who have made the world better by their actions. Membership is thus accorded to those who exemplify the order's Latin motto, Desiderantes Meliorem Patrium meaning they desire a better country, a phrase taken from Hebrews 11.16 of the Holy Bible. The three tiers of the order are companion, officer, and member. The order is administered by the Governor-General in Council, on behalf of the Queen of Canada. The monarch at present, Elizabeth II, is sovereign of the order and the serving Governor-General, currently David Lloyd Johnston, is its Chancellor and Principal Companion. Appointees into the order are selected by an advisory board and formally inducted by the Governor-General or the Sovereign. As of February 2011, 5,837 people have been appointed to the Order of Canada, including scientists, musicians, politicians, artists, athletes, business people, television and film stars, benefactors, and others. However, some have later resigned or have the honour removed, while others have been controversial. Appointees receive badges and the right to wear armorial bearings. Creation The process of founding the Order of Canada began in early 1966 and came to a conclusion on the 17th of April 1967 when the organization was instituted by Queen Elizabeth II on the advice of her then Canadian Prime Minister Lester B. Pearson who was assisted with the establishment of the order by John Matheson. The association was then officially launched on the 1st of July, 1967, the 100th anniversary of the formation of Canadian Confederation, with Governor-General Roland Missioner being the first inductee to the order, to the level of companion. And on the 7th of July of the same year, 90 more people were appointed, including Vincent Massey, Louis Saint Laurent, Hugh McLennan, David Bauer, Gabriel Roy, Donald Creighton, Therese Cascain, Wilder Penfield, Arthur Lismer, M. J. Coldwell, Edwin Baker, Alex Colville, and Maurice Richard. During a visit to London, the UK, later in 1967, Michener presented the Queen with her sovereign's badge for the Order of Canada, which she wore, first wore during a ban banquet rather in Yellowknife in July 1970. From the Order of Canada grew a larger Canadian honour system, thereby reducing the use of British honours, i.e. those administered by the Queen in her British Privy Council. Among the awards of the Canadian honour system, the Order of Canada comes second only to membership in the Order of Merit, which is within the personal gift of Canada's monarch. By the 1980s, Canada's provinces began to develop their own distinct honours and decorations. Grades the Canadian monarch, seen as the fount of honour, is at the apex of the Order of Canada as its sovereign, followed by the Governor-General, who serves as the Fellowship's Chancellor. Thereafter follow three grades, which are, in order of precedence, Companion, Officer, and Member, each having accordant postnomial letters that, are members in, that the members are entitled to use. Each incumbent Governor-General is also installed as the principal companion for the duration of their time in the vice-regal post. Promotions in grade are possible, though this is ordinarily not done within five years of the initial appointment, and a maximum of five honorary appointments into either of the three grades may be made by the Governor-General each year. As of 2011, there have been 18 honorary appointments to non-Canadian citizens. There were originally, in effect, only two ranks to the Order of Canada, Companion and the Medal of Service. 
There was, however, a third award, the Medal of Courage, meant to recognize acts of gallantry. This latter decoration fell in rank between the other two levels, but was anomalous with the Order of Canada, being a separate award of a different nature rather than a middle grade of the Order. Without ever having been awarded, the Medal of Courage was, on the 1st of July, 1972, replaced by the autonomous Cross of Valor, and at the same time, the levels of officer and member were introduced, with all existing holders of the Medal of Service created as officers. Lester Pearson's vision of a three-tiered structure to the Order was thus fulfilled. Companions of the Order of Canada have demonstrated the highest degree of merit to Canada and humanity on either the national or international scene. Up to 15 companions are appointed annually, with an imposed limit of 165 living companions at any given time, save for those appointed in an honorary capacity. The Constitution of the Order of Canada also specifies that the reigning monarch, the incumbent, incumbent Governor-General, and, since 1971, his or her spouse and former viceroys and viceregal consorts are to be included as companions of the Order, though these individuals also do not count towards the 165-person maximum. As of July 2009, there were 170 living companions, including four honorary. Since 1994, substantive members are the only regular citizens who are empowered to administer the Canadian Oath of Citizenship. Offers of the order, officers rather, of the Order of Canada have demonstrated an outstanding level of talent and service to Canadians, and up to 64 may be appointed each year, save for those inducted on an honorary basis with no limit to how many may be living at one time. As of July 2009, there were 1,012 living officers, including four honorary. Members of the Order of Canada have made an exceptional contribution to Canada or Canadians at a local or regional level, group, field, or activity. As many as 136 members may be appointed annually, save for those inducted on an honorary basis, and there is no limit on how many members may be living at one time. As of July 2009, there were 2,037 living members, including four honorary. Insignia Upon admission into the Order of Canada, members are gifted various insignia of the organization, all designed by Bruce W. Beatty, who broke new ground in design of insignia of orders within the Queen's realms and was himself made a member of the Order in 1990. As of 2004, Beatty has been in attendance at every investiture ceremony since 1967. The badge belonging to the Sovereign consists of a jeweled 18-carat gold crown of rubies, emeralds, and sapphires, from which is suspended a white, enameled, hexagonal snowflake design with six equal leaves and diamonds between each. At the center is a disc bearing a maple leaf and pave-laid rubies on a white enamel background, surrounded at its edge by a red enamel ring, annulus, bearing the motto of the order. The Chancellor wears the badge of a, of a companion and is, upon installation as Governor-General, granted a livery collar for wear at Order of Canada investiture ceremonies. The badges for inductees are of a similar design to the Sovereign's badge, though without precious stones and slight differences for each grade. For companions, the emblem is gilt with a red enamel maple leaf in the center disc. For officers, it is gilt with a gold maple leaf, and for members, both the badge itself and the maple leaf are silver. All are topped by a St. Edward's crown, symbolizing that the order is headed by the sovereign, and that the reverse is plain except for the word Canada. The ribbon is white and bordered in red stripes, similar to the Canadian national flag. The chest ribbon is the same for each grade, save for a metallic maple leaf in the center, the color of which matches that on the, on the badge of the grade that the wearer was appointed to. For civilian wear, a lapel pin is worn on the jacket, which is designed as a miniature of the medallion. Wear of the insignia is according to guidelines issued by the Chancellery of Honours, which stipulate that badges must be worn before most other national honours. That is, at the end of an individual's metal bar closest to the center of the chest or at the wearer's neck, with only the Victoria Cross, the Cross of Valor, and the badge of the Order of Merit permitted to be worn before the badges of the Order of Canada. Those in the grades of companion or officer may wear their badges on a neck ribbon, 
while those in the member group display their insignia suspended by a ribbon from a metal bar on the left chest. Protocol originally followed by the British tradition, wherein female appointees wore their Order of Canada emblem on a ribbon bow positioned on the left shoulder. These regulations were altered in 1997, and, with the exception of certain special occasions, women may wear their insignia in either the traditional manner or in the same fashion as the men. With the patriation in 1988 of oversight of arms to Canada through the Canadian Heraldic Authority, the, in the Constitution rather, of the Order of Canada was amended to include the entitlement of all inductees to petition the Chief Herald of Canada for, for, for personal armorial bearings, should they not already possess any. Companions may receive supporters, and all members may have the escutcheon, the shield, of their arms encircled with a red ribbon bearing the order's motto in gold, and from which is suspended a rendition of the holder's Order of Canada badge. As the Queen is sovereign of the Order of Canada, she in 18, 1987 rather, approved the augmentation of her royal arms for Canada with the order's ribbon. Possession and Sale The Constitution of the Order of Canada states that the insignia remain property of the Crown, and requires any member of the Order to return to the Chancellery their original emblem, should they be upgraded within the Order to a higher rank. Thus, while badges may be p passed down as family heirlooms or loaned or donated for display in museums, they cannot be sold by any individual other than the monarch with the proper advice and consent of her ministers. Over the decades, however, a number of Order of Canada insignia have been put up for sale, the first being the Companion's Badge of Major Coldwell, who was appointed in 1967. His badge was sold at auction in 1981, an act that received criticism from government officials. In 2007, it was revealed that one of the first ever issued insignia of the Order of Canada, a Medal of Service awarded originally to Quebec historian Gustave Lancotte, was put up for sale via email. Originally, the anonymous auctioneer who had purchased the decoration for 45 Canadian dollars at an estate sale in Montreal attempted to sell the insignia on eBay. However, after the bidding reached $15,000, eBay removed the item, citing its policy against the sale of government property, including, quote, any die, seal, or stamp provided by, belonging to, or used by a government department, diplomatic or military authority, appointed by or acting under the authority of Her Majesty. Rideau Hall stated that selling medals was highly discouraged. However, the owner continued efforts to sell the insignia via the Internet. Eligibility and Appointment Any of the three levels of the Order of Canada are open to all living Canadian citizens, except all federal and provincial politicians and judges while they hold office. The Order recognizes the achievement of outstanding merit or distinguished service by Canadians who have made a major difference to Canada throughout lifelong contributions in every field of endeavour, as well as the efforts made by non-Canadians who have made the world a better by their actions. Membership is thus accorded to those who exemplify the Order's Latin motto, taken from Hebrews 11.16 of the Bible, Desiderantes Melorum Patrium, meaning they desire a better country. Each of the six to eight hundred nominations submitted each year by any person or organization is received by the Order's Advisory Council, which, along with the Governor-General, makes the final choice of new inductees, typ typically rather by consensus rather than a vote, a process that, when conceived, was the first of its kind in the world. Appointees are then accepted into the organization at an investiture ceremony typically conducted by the Governor-General at Rideau Hall though the Queen or another Viceroy may perform the task and the ceremony may take place in other locations. Since the 1991 investiture of Ted Rogers, Order of Canada installment ceremonies have been broadcast on various television channels and the Internet. Recipients are given a complimentary copy of their investiture ceremony from Rogers Cable. Advisory Council the task of the Advisory Council is to evaluate the nominations of potential inductees, decide if the candidates are worthy enough to be accepted into the order, and make recommendations to the Governor-General who appoints the new members. The Council is chaired by the Chief Justice of Canada and includes the Clerk of the Queen's Privy Council, the Deputy Minister of Canadian Heritage, the Chair of the Canada Council for the Arts, 
the President of the Royal Society of Canada, the Chair of the Association of Universities and Colleges of Canada, and five members of the Order who sit on the Council for a three-year period. If a nomination involves a non-Canadian citizen, the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs is invited by the Advisory Council to offer evaluation. Decisions of the Council and or new appointments to and or dismissals from the Order of Canada are announced to the Canada Gazette. The current, as of October 2011, members of the Advisory Council are Beverly McLaughlin, Chief Justice of Canada, who is also acting as the Chair. Michel Belly, Chair, Association of Universities and Colleges of Canada. Roberta L. Jameson, CM, Ontario Representative, President and CEO to the National Aboriginal Achievement Foundation. Aldea Laundry, PC, CM, QC, Atlantic Representative. Danielle Jean, Deputy Minister, Canadian Heritage. Roderick A. MacDonald, President-elect, Royal Society of Canada, the Academies of Arts, Humanities, and Sciences of Canada. Lalita Malotra, CM, SOM, MBBS, FRCOG, Prairies Representative. Martha Piper, OC, OBC, Western Representative. Joseph L. Rotman, OC, President, Canada Council for the Arts. Joseph A. Rouleau, CM, GOQ, Quebec Representative. Wayne G. Vouters, Clerk of the Privy Council and Secretary to the Cabinet. Refusal. While few have declined entry into the Order of Canada, it is not unheard of. As of 1997, 1.5% 1 of offered appointments to the Order have been refused. The identities of those individuals have been declined induction since the 1970s are kept confidential, so the full list is not publicly known. Some, however, have spoken openly about their decisions, including Robert Weaver, who stated that he was critical of the three-tier nature of the order. Claude Ryan and Morley Callaghan, who both declined the honor in 1967, Mordecai Richler, who twice declined, and Marcel Dubé, Roger Lemelin, and Glenn Gould, who all declined in 1970. However, all of the above individuals, save for Gould and Weaver, later did accept appointment into the order. Others have rejected appointment on the basis of being supporters of the Quebec Sovereignty Movement, such as Luc-André Godbeau, Rina Lasnier, and Genevieve Bujolt while Alice Parizeau, another supporter of Quebec sovereignty, was criticized for accepting entry into the order, in spite of her beliefs. Others decline out of modesty, such as Victoria Cross, recipient Cecil Merritt, who cited the fact that he already had Canada's highest decoration as a reason not to be admitted to the Canada Order of Canada. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, which was in 1982 offered appointment to the order as an honorary companion, however, re he refused on the grounds that, as the consort of the Queen, he was a Canadian and thus entitled to a substantive appointment. In 1993, the Advisory Council proposed an amendment to the Constitution of the Order of Canada, making the sovereign spouse automatically a companion, but Prince Philip again refused, stating that if he was to be appointed, it should be on basis of his merits. Congruent with these arguments, he in 1988 accepted without issue a substantive induction as Companion of the Order of Australia. Former Premier of Newfoundland Joey Smallwood declined appointment as a Companion because he felt that, as a father of Confederation, he deserved a knighthood. Smallwood was never knighted and later accepted induction as a Companion. Resignation and Removal Resignations from the order can take place only through the prescribed channels, which include the member submitting to the Secretary-General of the Order of Canada a letter notifying the Chancellery of his or her desire to terminate their membership, and only with the Governor-General's approval can the resignation take effect. On the 1st of June 2009, the Governor-General accepted the resignations of astronomer and inventor René Racine, pianist Jacqueline Richard, and Cardinal Jean-Claude Turcotte. On the 11th of January 2010, did the same for Renato Giuseppe Bossioso, an engineering professor, and Father Lucien Laray, 
and on the 19th of April 2010 for Frank Chauvin. It was also reported that other constituents of the Order of Canada had, in reaction to Henry Mortengaller's induction into their ranks, indicated that they would return or had returned their emblems in protest, including organizations such as the Missionary Oblates of the Mary Immaculate and Madonna House Apostolate, doing so on behalf of deceased former members. Members may, be, members may be removed, rather, from the order if the Advisory Council feels their actions have brought the society into disrepute. In order for this to be done, the Council must agree to take action and then send a letter to the person both telling of the group's decision and requesting a response. Anyone removed from the order is required to return their insignia. As of 2010, four people have been removed from the Order of Canada. Alan Eagleson, who was dismissed after being jailed for fraud in 1998. David Ahinakiu, who faced calls for his removal due to anti-Semitic comments he made in 2002. Tishar Singh, after the Law Society of Upper Canada found him guilty of professional misconduct and revoked his license to practice law. And Steve Fonio, due to his multiple criminal convictions, for which there are no outstanding appeals. Controversial Appointments the advisory board attempts to remain apolitical and pragmatic in its approach to selecting new members of the Order of Canada, generally operating without input from the ministers of the Crown. Political interference has occurred only once, when in 1978 Paul Desmarais' investiture was delayed for six months by Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. However, some of the committee's selections have caused controversy. For example, the admission in 2001 of sex educator Sue Johansson, host of the long-running Sunday Night Sex Show, as a member stirred controversy among Canada's Christian organizations. As Johansson had taught teenagers methods of safe, se safe sex rather alongside abstinence. Similarly, the acceptance of birth control advocate Elizabeth Bagshaw and gay rights campaigner Brent Hawkes also incited debate. Abortion activist Harry... Henry Mortengeller's appointment to the order on the 1st of July 2008 not only marked the first time the Advisory Council had not been unanimous in its decision, but also proved to be one of the most controversial appointments in the order's history, drawing both praise from abortion rights groups and the ire of members of Parliament, anti-abortion groups, and religious leaders. The latter organized protests outside of Rideau Hall on the 9th of July, while compatriots did the same in front of Government House in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador, the official residence of that province's lieutenant governor. One former police detective, Frank Chauvin, along with a Catholic anti-abortion activist, filed suit against the Order of Canada Advisory Council, demanding that the minutes of the meeting relating to Morton Galler be made public. The appointment of Morgenthaler promoted are prompted formal Liberal Member of Parliament Clifford Lincoln to write that the workings of the Advisory Council were mysterious, citing what he theorized to be an inbuilt, inbuilt partially and conflict of interest as reason why Margaret Somerville, whom Lincoln had twice nominated to the Advisory Council, was turned down for appointment, yet Morgenthaler was accepted. Journalist Henry Aubin in the Montreal Gazette opined that the Council's rejection of Somerville, her personal opposition to same-sex marriage, and the acceptance of Brent Hawkes, Jane Vance Rule, and Jean Chrétien, all regarded as supporting same-sex unions, as well as the appointment of a controversial figure such as Morgenthaler, were all signs that the Advisory Council operated with partisan bias. Aubin also pointed to the presence on the Council of Members of the Royal Society of Canada, an organization into which Somerville was received. Proposed Amendments At a 2006 conference on Commonwealth Honours, Christopher McCreary, an expert on Canada's honours, raised the concern that the three grades of the Order of Canada were insufficient to recognise the nation's very best. One suggestion was to add two more levels to the Order, equivalent to knighthoods in British Orders. The Order of Precedence also came under scrutiny particularly the anomaly that all three grades of the Order of Canada supersede the top levels of each of the other orders, except the Order of Merit, contrary to international practice. In June 2010, McCreary suggested reforms to the Order of Canada that would avert the awkwardness around appointing those in Canada's royal family as full members of the Order. 
he theorized that the queen, as the order's sovereign, could simply appoint, on ministerial advice, anyone as an extra member, or the monarch could issue an ordinance allowing for her relations to be made regular members when approved. Similarly, McCreary proposed that a new division of the order be established specifically for governors-general, their spouses, and members of the royal family. Additional Honours at certain periods, holders of the order were presented with other awards, usually commemorative medals. Thus far, one commemorative medal has been given automatically to every living member of the Order of Canada, the Queen Elizabeth II Silver Jubilee Medal in 1977. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License. Available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash buy dash essay slash 3.0.